Hey everybody, I am so excited that you have now gotten an art class in a box. So I thought we would do um, two projects today, okay? You have your piece of wood, and with this piece of wood, we can do two pictures, one on the front, one on the back. And if you are like me, you are loving this warm weather, and warm weather makes me think of bright colors and things that go along with bright colors. So you're gonna kind of see what we're doing today. We might be creating um, something psychedelic. If you don't know what that means, ask your parents. They'll know what that means. So today we're gonna to start first with a mountain scene, okay? So you're gonna need your paintbrush, um, your cup half full of water, and your blue plate. This is becoming your palette, okay? And so everyone should have like a yellow color, a pinkish red color, and a bluish green color. And then your special glow in the dark paint, okay? So, um, and I'll have them separated like that, okay? So that way they have room if we need to, you know, mix them together. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start first with mountains. So dip your brush in a little bit of that yellow color, okay? And then we're gonna make like a mountain scene. So we're gonna start over here, we're just gonna create some mountains, okay? And we're gonna kinda come up, make a little mountain over here, okay? And then these kinda come up, and we're gonna go make it a little tall up at the top, all right? And then you're gonna make another mountain right here. And you're just gonna make some mountains all the way to the sides of your piece of wood, okay? So does everyone see that? All right, so now that we've gotten our mountain chain, okay, we can kind of extend our lines down. Some of these mountains are coming down, okay? Some of these mountains are just kind of crossing over. Okay, like that, you got it? Okay, so now that we've outlined our mountains, what we're gonna do is we are gonna outline a lake at the bottom of the mountain scene. So down here, you're just gonna outline a lake, the very base of the mountain, okay? Does everybody see our lake? All right, there's our lake. Okay, so now we can get rid of this yellow for now. Rinse off your brush really good in water, okay? Dab it dry, and then you're gonna fill in all of your sky with blue, okay? So all of your sky will be filled in blue. Now you can add in some pink streaks if you want, okay? If you wanna add in yellow streaks, you can add in whatever color you want. Remember, this is your project, okay? Your project has to look nothing like mine if you want it to, all right? If you want it to look probably better, okay? A little funky, a little cooler, Go for it. Okay, this is your picture. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up. You wanna cover up all the wood, okay? All the wood. And wood absorbs a lot of paint, so you might end up needing two or three coats of this color, and that's okay. You've got plenty of paint. I mean, this paint, you can paint 10 more pictures if you wanted, okay? And this paint goes on any surface. So, you can just paint whatever you want in your house. All right. So now that we have our blue sky, okay, ooh, that's looking nice. All right, now we're gonna paint our blue water in our lake, okay? If it mixes in with that yellow, it's all right. Kinda wanted to turn that greenish color like real water turns. Okay, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna finish filling in our mountains. So you're gonna take a series of pinks, all right? Some pinks everywhere. If you can tell, I'm kind of a sporadic painter. So I'm just gonna be filling in lines. And this, sometimes people call it abstract. Some people call it messy. I just call it having fun. Cause you're not having to really worry about everything going perfectly straight. You're just kind of filling in your mountains, okay? All right. And then once you have several paint areas, now we're gonna get some blue. So every time, you, I'm, every time I'm changing colors, I'm mixing my brush in the water and I'm dabbing it dry and then I'm gonna grab another color on there, okay? So, cause if I left that pink on there and with the blue, you know what I would get? Purple. So if you wanna add a new color right now, I want you to take your brush and I want you to mix blue and the pink color, okay? Or blue and red and you will get purple. So guess what? You just made a new color, okay? I'm just now going around and I'm filling in all the areas in these mountains, okay? All right. And I'm going 
fast, okay? You can take your time, all right? So you don't have to listen to me for an hour and a half. I will go fast on these videos. Okay. All right, so we're almost done, okay? So I'm gonna rinse off my brush again. Okay, I'm gonna dab it dry on my paper towel. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow, okay? Because this mountain just needs one more color to make it perfect and finished, okay? And you're probably wondering, um, I thought this was our glow in the dark project. Why have I not used glow in the dark yet? Well, here is your options, okay? So you can actually, right now, you can add in glow in the dark paint and mix the glow in the dark paint with your regular paints, okay? And then that will create your picture to be glow in the dark. Or what I find works a little bit better, maybe not as fun, but a little bit better, is I add glow in the dark paint at the very end, okay? Okay, so now we're done with our mountain scene. Cool, right? Oh, maybe let's add some yellow. Let's add some yellow down there so our lake, okay? And now we're gonna get our brush really clean, okay? And we're gonna get some glow in the dark paint on there, all right? And this will dry completely see-through. So wherever you put the glow in the dark paint, it doesn't even show up. It doesn't even show up as white. It just dries wherever. So if you want the mountains, I'm gonna make my mountains glow in the dark, okay? So whatever you paint with this paint at the very end, it will glow in the dark. And this paint is activated by mainly by the sun. So put it outside for a little while to activate it, okay? Or put it underneath of a really bright light. All right, and now you have a glow in the dark mountain scene, okay? So this is our first picture that we're gonna do. All right, rinse off your brush really good. And the next one we're gonna do is we are going to make a lemon. Okay, so I figured we would do like one um, long ways and then the other one sideways. So we'll make our lemon like this, okay? Because you probably have figured this out yet, but I get bored easily, so I like to have a lot of options. So if I get bored of my mountain scene, I can just flip it over and create a lemon. So what we're gonna do first is we are gonna get some yellow on our brush. All right, got the wrong color. So get some yellow on your brush and we're gonna make our lemon right in the middle of our piece of wood. So we're gonna come down right here, make the little top and we're gonna open it up into a big oval, okay. All right, and then you're gonna have a little dip down here All right, and now you're just gonna fill in your whole entire lemon, okay? I'm just gonna fill that in all with the yellow. Okay, y'all see that? Filling in all in the, with the yellow, okay? And again, I'm going fast, so mine might look a little sloppy, okay? All right, so now that you have a filled in lemon, okay, let's make it a little more even. Mine looked a little less round than it needs to look. Okay, this looks more like a lemon that's been sitting outside for a little while. Okay, so now that we have our lemon that looks a little healthier, a little healthier. Okay, so now you're gonna rinse off your brush. Actually, you don't have to rinse off your brush because we're gonna make green. So you can just keep your yellow on your brush and add some blue. So get some blue and some yellow. And we're gonna mix them together until you have the color green that you want, okay? So blue and yellow, I got some green. And now we're gonna make our stem and we're gonna have a little piece in the middle and it kind of breaks off into leaves, okay? And we're gonna do a leaf here and a leaf there, okay? All right. And you can add two leaves. If you wanna add another leaf, add another leaf. Do whatever you want. This is your picture. I'm just gonna add one leaf, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of green to the side, okay? Just a few, just to kind of accent our lemon just a little bit. Let me show off some shading, okay? So our lemon doesn't look so bland, okay? All right, then you're gonna finish your picture with filling in all the sides with pink, okay? Now again, if you wanna add in another color to pink, go for it. You can add in some yellow, and you know what pink and yellow make? Orange. 
So if you want to add some pink and yellow, make some orange. If you want to add in some purple, just mix your pink and blue together and add in those two colors and you'll get purple streaks, okay? I'm kind of just adding, going around, filling all of that in, okay? And then in a second, you're about to see your whole picture is gonna be done. Now, if you're really clever, you're probably gonna add some cute phrase like, welcome spring, okay? Or when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, you know, something real cool like that. And if you're not great with painting words, a trick I always do is Sharpie. Just Sharpie those words right on. Nobody will ever know that you didn't paint them. All right, so we are almost finished. Okay, fill all that in. And the same, there you go. And the same thing with your lemon. If you want to take it up to a whole new level, you just add glow in the dark paint wherever you want it to glow, okay? Okay, and then remember, you're gonna charge it in the sun or under a light, okay? And maybe stare a few people. If you leave it outside on your front porch, when people walk up and they see a glow in the dark picture, they might be a little scared. All right, so we're finished, okay? I hope you had so much fun just creating fun art, okay? Nothing serious. Um, you can do whatever you want, all right? And you have plenty of paint, so keep on exploring, keep on having fun, and you have two more weeks until your next box comes in, okay? So I will see you in two weeks.